hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you guys we really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one has just dropped soldiers stop lagos judicial panel from accessing military mortuary wow we know i'm um, regarding the hashtag um, NSAS protest that led to um shooting of innocent citizens governor babajide samwalu he has claimed you know he, he, he when he opened up um during the live interview with channels um i beg your pardon with cnn cnn yes and um, with um becky um, he stated that there was going to be and uh, <laughs> there was going to be a proper investigation of what really went down, who gave the orders, and those responsible will be brought to book. So an investigation has started. The panel has started. As a matter of fact, they visited um, the scene where the shootings took place, and they recovered some uh, uh, um, cartridges and all of that. So uh, all of that is ongoing. In the midst of all of that, they visited the. Uh, the military mortuary. The reason they visited the military mortuary was that uh, um, some uh, persons who were present at the scene of the event stated that um, they saw military men taking bodies away, throwing bodies into the other's dead bodies into their military van. And um, part of the investigation is that because there's been speculations that uh, most bodies and some persons who claim they lost their loved ones are still yet to locate or know where the bodies of their loved ones are so this panel of this judicial panel uh wanted to get into the military mortuary to check to see if these speculations or all of these uh, uh, um things that um citizens have stated if they were actually correct but surprisingly the soldiers stopped them from going in it's, it's quite shocking we don't know what they are really hiding you know it's been conflicting information they've been given from babajide samwalu even up to the point where um, Fashola, the former governor of the state, was ridiculed. You know, the, the name, they've given him a new name now, Inspector. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that, um, those adverts, a lot of things have been done with him. That is an inspector, all of that. Well, anyway, guys, what is the point of um, conflicting information, giving conflicting information? Initially, Sam Walu said there was no loss of life. I actually visited the scene and there was not even a drop, not even a stain of blood in the scene. But when he hit on him, when he done on him that there were actually evidences, uh, you know, even when CNN was interviewing someone, it was CNN that brought their own evidence where military were shooting. And he had to just ad uh, admit he had no option to actually confess, to say, yes, those were men of the military. We don't know what they are covering up, what they are hiding right now. Not after long, when um, someone who opened up and accepted that, yes, that those were really military, Nigerian military, but what he's going to do, he's going to find out who gave the order. Next, the military gave their own statement as well, that it was a um, Lagos state government that invited them. The confusion is it, just a mess. We don't really know where this is coming from, but we know very well. We know who is on top now. We know where this directly is coming from. It's, it's definitely linked. It's definitely coming from... President Mohamed Buhari. Anyway, my people, we'll get you more details. We'll find that um, um, all that has um, gone down when um, this um, judicial panel visited the uh, military mortuary. We'll bring you all of those details shortly. But before we do, guys, please, if you've been following Peak Media and you still haven't given us a thumbs up yet, guys, show us some love. Do go ahead and give us a thumbs up and click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. Soldiers manning the gate at the military hospital in Ikoi have stopped the Lagos Judicial Panel on hashtag NSAS from assessing the hospital's mortuary. The panel, unannounced on Friday, went to the hospital on investigation into the shooting at Lekito Gate where 15 protesters were reportedly killed. Witnesses of the Lekki shooting accused the military of taking away the bodies of those killed in the incident. The panel met resistance as it got to the gates of the hospital. Ebun Adeg Borua, a member of the panel, told soldiers 
who stopped them at the gate that the panel came to the hospital because it had intelligence that might help with its investigation. The facility is relevant to our investigation. We have a pathologist. We are here on authority of the president, not only the governor, he said. We are following due process. And it's important we visit the mortuary as it will help our findings. If we are not allowed access, we'll go back and take other actions. We won't force ourselves in. We have confidential information that the military hospital here is relevant in the investigation of the Lecky event. We heard that this hospital is controlled by 65 Battalion and under the 81 Division. We are also taking steps to reach military authorities. Adegberua said, though the panel does not have evidence that there are bodies of those killed at the toll gates in the hospital, it was at the facility to verify that claim that they were there. Yes, guys, um, <laughs> Nigeria, <laughs> the more you look, the, the, the less you see, oh, guys. That is all I can say because I don't really understand. Right now, this um, judicial panel, they've stated that they are on, uh, they, they were, they are on order. They were sent not just um, by someone, Lu, but also from um, um, the federal government, that's from President Mohamed Buhari. They were given order to go and carry out the investigations. And as um, speculations have been going on that military men carted away, carried the bodies of dead people, that, that is what they were there to confirm. But what, what are they really hiding? Why are they shutting them out? Why are they keeping them away? If really there's an investigation that is meant to go on, could it be that all of this is just planned up? Is it set up? Because military is pointing finger at someone who someone who is pointing back at the military. Who do they think they are really deceiving? Nigerians are just watching all of this. And guys, we know very well that the international community is watching as well. And as a matter of fact, the um, we know Amnesty International, the USA, have stated that they are going to carry out their own investigation. So not all of these that they are doing, that they are shutting door and uh, pointing fingers and uh, making counter allegations against one another. As uh, 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 indicted uh, military, military is pointing back that someone who that actually called us to come in, but we didn't do anything. And who are they deceiving? There are footages, there are uh, recordings of these uh, uh, um, uh, very sad events, unfortunate events a black tuesday indeed in the history of the country anyway guys let's hear your own take if you've got a different school of thought about them um, the game that they're trying to play here let us know down below in the comment section thank you once again please if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet do go ahead and give us a thumbs up click on the like button don't forget to subscribe as well till i come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless